It's two o'clock in the morning and I'm out here in my garden practicing for the big total solar eclipse. And man, I've been hearing some crazy stuff as this thing gets closer and closer. I mean, we had a partial solar eclipse last year and all it did was create some cool shadows as the sun passed through the trees. But this time around is different. Here in Texas, a lot of the schools are even closing. Several states have even declared states of emergencies. The region says it is enacting the state of emergency out of an abundance of caution as it has been working with partners to ensure April 8th runs as smoothly as possible. All those in favor, that passes unanimously. A month away from the April 8th solar eclipse, Travis County issues a disaster declaration. And Fifield joins us this morning with what they're expecting. That's right. Uh, everybody that we have that uh, is uh, sworn personnel that wears a uniform mm -hmm. at some point in time uh, will be out working that day. Uh, as you said, the governor declared a state of emergency. They're telling us to fill up our gas tanks ahead of time and have a two-week supply of food and water on hand and also to stock up on all of your prescription medications. I went to Costco the other day just to get a few items. Man, it was crazy. People with pallets of toilet paper and water in a lifetime supply of Lucky Charms. Take a look at the checkout line. National Guards are on full alert. Apparently NASA is going to launch three rockets at the solar eclipse. I'm not even sure what that's about. There's talk of cell phone, GPS, and satellite communication outages. Apparently, they're worried about the ionosphere. If you think of the ionosphere as a pond with some gentle ripples in it, the eclipse is like a boat that suddenly rips through the water. Interestingly enough, besides technology, nature is also affected by a total solar eclipse. Pets usually follow the behavior of their owners and their human schedule, but an eclipse can disrupt pets' normal patterns of behavior, and at totality, cats and dogs may become spooked. In response to the sky darkening and the resulting lower temperatures, farm animals will begin performing their nightly activities such as heading back to the barn, grooming, eating, or sleeping. I got those empty feed bag, empty feed bag blue. Wild animals like raccoons. Don't call me a raccoon! I meant trash panda. Deer, bison, porcupines, rabbits. <laughs> and coyotes that are most active during dusk and dawn will begin looking for food. I can only imagine what the squirrels will do. If you're a fisherman, grab your rod and reel, because since fish usually feed during the early morning and evening hours, they'll start biting at lures just before totality. Just before totality, birds and insects will be louder than normal, but once totality arrives, they'll go silent. Some birds also change their song patterns, and some may even fly in odd formations. I guess that explains that whole school closure thing. Spiders will start their web maintenance to prepare to catch meals overnight. It was shown that bees will stop buzzing during totality and return to their hives. Once sunlight reappears, the bees appear disoriented. Well, that's fine, but what about my garden? Well, during the day, plants take in carbon dioxide and light from the sun to create and store their energy using the process of photosynthesis. But at night, plants switch over to the process of respiration, during which they take in oxygen and push out carbon dioxide. Kind of like trying to make an oil rig go from pumping oil in to pushing it back out all of a sudden. I can't even imagine any other possible effects on plants. We're talking about world conquest, and I want to thank you! But you know, I'm not worried. I've got my total eclipse solar glasses, a bottle of water, and plenty of food. What could possibly go wrong? Dogs and cats living together. Mass hysteria. Wait a second. If you want to know the only surefire way to keep squirrels out of your garden, check out this video. This one's pretty good too.